Okay, Assalamu alaikum everyone. Um, today we are going to be writing in English another text that I would, um, I think you're familiar with and that is a news report. Okay, um, the news is something that we all are listening to at least if not ourselves and somebody has been telling us what's been happening in the news, how many cases, when is the lockdown going to end, etc, etc. So all these um, this information is communicated us to us through the news media. Okay, so today we are going to briefly, I'm going to briefly take you through how to write a news report. Okay, so the first thing is what is a news report? This PowerPoint is going to tell you that what is the purpose of a news report? What is the structure of a news report? And how is the point of view expressed? Okay, when we move on. So the purpose of a news report is to inform audiences about a recent event, people, place or issue happening in the world around them. And so the, when we say the purpose is to inform, it, this is, means it's a factual text. It's an objective text which uses objective language. Objective language means that you're using the language of facts, not of opinions. Okay? So that's the purpose of a news report. So you've got to tell people the events that are happening in the world around you. Okay, now the structure of a news report is that of an inverted pyramid. Okay, it's an inverted pyramid if you can see it. Um, at the bottom, if you look at it, is the attention-seeking headline. Okay, that is the one thing that is most important in a news report. Then you have the lead paragraph which is going to tell you the five W's, who, what, when, where, why, where is this event happening, who is involved, um, why is it happening, when did it start, when is it going to finish, okay, etc, etc. So, and you'll notice, boys and girls, that the lead paragraph is usually one sentence long. I'll show you when we look at the news report, that the lead paragraph is one sentence long. Then you have another sentence, a background information, which causes talks about the causes and effects of the issue that you're discussing. And these details are not as important as this, the lead paragraph, but they are related to it. And then finally, you're going to give a quotation by an authority figure or by people who are affected by the problem or the issue that you're discussing. And then in the last sentence, you're going to write some not very important information related to the issue. Okay, so once you've understood that the news report is basically five sentences, okay, then it's going to be easy to write it. Okay, so here's a news report. It's really babyish, but I thought it would be easy to understand. So we're looking at the structure of the news report. Let's look at some of the features. So there's the headline, car thief caught trapped in La target vehicle. This one, okay, then that's called the headline. It has to be catchy, it has to be short, and it has to be interesting. Then you have a byline, which is the name of the author. So by Jim Day, staff reporter. And then you have the date as well. Wednesday, February 25th, 2009. Then you have a place line. Where is this issue taking place? And where is this being published? So this is in Canberra. Okay. And... Uh, you're going to leave a dash after that. And then you have the lead paragraph. It's written over here, lead, catches reader interest, reader's interest, most important information, introduces the topic, answers most of the five W's. Now let's have a look if it is doing that. A bungling Australian car thief was nabbed after accidentally locking himself in the car he was trying to steal. Police said Wednesday. Okay? Notice it's not saying I saw someone stealing a car or my friend saw someone. It's not narrative. Okay. Police said is Wednesday. This is very a formal tone. Objectively, you're going to state the facts. This is what happened. So you've got the who, a bungling car thief. Nabbed means by the police. This is also who accidentally locking himself in the vehicle he was trying to steal. What was he trying to do? He was trying to do this. Why was he trying to do it? He was trying to steal it. And when did this happen? 
Wednesday. Wednesday, it's been reported, so it's probably happened a day before. Okay. Police were now, we come into the background information. Police were called to a house in Adelaide after two thieves were heard trying to steal a car. On arrival, they were surprised to find a 53-year-old man hiding inside the vehicle. Okay. So, they were called to a house in Adelaide. Interesting that the news is being reported in Canberra, but this incident took place in Adelaide. Okay. After two thieves were heard trying to steal a car, so the neighbors must have reported it. On arrival, they were surprised to find a 53-year-old man hiding inside the vehicle. The man, and look at this is a quotation now. The man, while breaking into the car, had locked himself in the car and couldn't get out. South Australian police said adding a second thief was found hiding in nearby bushes. Now, you know, I don't really like this last line, boys and girls, because this is the additional least important information. But and it should have been in the next paragraph. Usually you'll notice that each um, paragraph is one line wrong long and that is the difference between writing narratives and writing a news report you have complex sentences with lots of long extra details given in them uh, and it's one sentence long here just two sentences but we can also make this into one sentence if we want so basically i would advise you a sentence each and there should be five sentences as i've given above okay so the quotation is given by the policeman. All of this information has been related by the police. Okay, so you get the basic structure of a news report. How is the point of view expressed? This is just a bit of information. Through a range of language choices in the news report, objective tone. Okay, this happened. Police said, police were told, police were informed. Okay. And so you keep an objective tone, no object, subjective opinions. It was a very sad day or it has been really upsetting for me or you. No mention of that. If you want to say that people are being affected by it and it's not having a good effect on people, then you can say that. But you have to stay objective in your tone. No personal pronouns, I or you, selection of detail, names, places, areas of lockdown, dates, authority figures involved, organizations involved, etc. So as you can guess, boys and girls, your news report is going to be about the COVID-19 uh, restrictions. And so therefore, I've included this that you've got to talk about which are the areas in which those restrictions are in place, what other areas are affected in New South Wales, etc. Facts and figures, data figures, how many cases? You've got to mention that. Quotes by authority figures, these can express opinions and facts. Okay? And here is the only place within a quote that you can express an opinion. So you can say, oh, I am so bored at home my children are so upset because they can't go out and we are traumatized by this lockdown or i'm really infuriated by the people who are not taking precautions or this is so bad you know these kind of opinions you can express in the courts but you can't say it yourself as a reporter okay so that's where the opinion can come in into your news report and finally, references to related organizations. So if it's a health organization or it's the government or it's an economy, economic organization, you could you can mention their names here. OK, so this is your task. Uh, pretend you are a journalist reporting on lockdown restrictions in Sydney, July 2021. Your news report is for AI school community, students, parents and staff. And you must follow the inverted structure of the news report that I shared you, the pyramid. And do not write more than five to seven sentences. Add an image or visual with a caption. Okay, now this is about the writing the news report. However, if you want to write a script for a TV news report and you want to record it on Seesaw because Miss Edemir has given you that option to do so, I, I've given you two scaffolds here. Okay, you can use this one this uh, to write the news report and so you only have one two three four five sentences here you put an image here and you can put the text boxes here boys and girls on top of this so when you finally put it, it looks really nice 
okay now this is the news report script so you're going to write the script and this is a bit longer if you notice because news reports when you're speaking you speak a lot more information than when you're writing so it's fairly explicit so good morning good afternoon good evening my name is you're the reporter reporting for ai news it is 9 a.m um on wednesday the 15th of july 2021 and i am here in um sydney or the city covering the press conference held by the premier of new south wales to share the latest news on covid 19 lockdown restrictions with my school community australian international academy okay and then i've given you some paragraphs to write you can talk about the stages of the crisis when it began how did the numbers increase the situation how has it become worse then you talk about what is the cause what's causing it the lockdown caused health economy education problems what are the what is the crisis okay what is the cause of it and how is it affecting it victims affected by the crisis okay and then you've got the solutions emergency services government health police workers have been helping the community okay etc and what is the way forward so it's one one sentence you've got to write here boys and girls but this together will make it around a minute and a half and it's going to be a good news report then so you have that option with you i would suggest hold the mic in your hand or pick up something um, in your uh, home that you can use as a mic if you want to make a mic, you can make one as well. I know Ibrahim has one. Uh, he's just bought it. So you could use that and you could do a live news report. Or if you want to uh, write a shorter version, you could write the written news report and upload it on Seesaw. Okay. So I'm leaving you with this, boys and girls. Happy reporting. You're our journalists. And I hope that you can um, report on the crisis you can choose whatever angle you want to talk about how is this crisis affecting the AI community if you want to focus on that you can talk about that and you can interview a few of your friends and they can give you some quotes to include in your report okay so I hope this is fun and you enjoy it and I will leave you with this inshallah good luck for tomorrow looking forward to hearing you and reading your news reports. Take care. Bye-bye.